you can't talk about you that. are we are I'm not allowed to talk about balls i remember no you're unmuted not shaved ones <laughs> just don't i hate i hate i hate everyone that appears on my channel <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start the warning. Boom. Warning. What the heck are you doing? Are you What's gagging? Doing? Here we go. Can't do a gaga kid. Ooh, but Matthew Dell said, pal 72, don't worry. What's going on, friends? Guess what? It is that time. It is Sunday. Oh, some random Sunday, and I'm tired. I'm tired, I'm sleepy, but that's okay. I'm here, I'm up, we are oh, hanging out. Yeah. I got these guys down here in the corner. I'm um, not tired. They are equally as tired and sleepy as me, but we're gonna make this happen, and uh, uh, we have some very sad news for you today. Uh, grab your uh, <laughs> grab your coffee, or your, you know, I don't know, grab your favorite apple juice. Hell, whatever. Um, sit back, relax, enjoy the show. My name's Stan, and you have found the Tenacious TX Vapes channel. Holla, why was this show so poorly promoted? <laughs> Good question. See, Gra Graham in, Ve he, in Vegas, he's defending. He's saying it's just Vegas in our city. His internet sucks. Oh, it says as internet uh, C-block, if you know what that means. Not oh, that broken home. You know, we should tell him about how we're going to do two weeks in a row. Boom. Yeah. Yep. Oh, crap. Look, there's like a big black spot. What is that? Where? Like in Where? the middle, hold on, hold please. Wait, that's the wrong thing. Um, I got, oh, low group background. There we go, bam, I got it. Show. I fixed it. Big black spot is gone. Shout yeah. out Matthew, it's shout out I. Ranger FC. Broken home. Sorry, Just go ahead, Sam. Are you, are you feeling okay there, pal? You doing all right? I'm the only one that's awake and ready to roll. Ranger, <laughs> hey. Hello. I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm, I'm on, I was ready. Hey, you man. guys. Hello. Just and to everyone out in chat, I, I had these guys this close to going live at 2 o'clock in the morning. Jeremy okay, Lane, hello. pal, pal, yeah, and I didn't get to bed till 3 a.m., so I'm, not, I'm too old for that stuff. By the way, pal was in charge of all the promotion for this show, and uh, he totally dropped the ball. Yeah. Um, it's facts. And it's because his internet sucks. Actually, yeah, I he just like posted it on his pal channel. You said post the thumbnail. So I posted it on my Facebook. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> guys, we are here. We are hanging out. And um, we got lots of, not a whole lot of craziness to talk about. But we got cool hardware in and uh, some things happening that we're going to talk to you guys about. Why don't we start with the Prince of Pinoy over here. And uh, tell us what you are vaping on, my friend. Okay, well, thank you very much, uh, Stanley. I appreciate it. Shout out to all you guys in chat. I know it's early, and I, my, I, I think I over-promoted, so, so I'm sorry on that. <laughs> Next time I won't uh, post everywhere. But uh, <laughs> what we got going on today is the MCM Halo with this beautiful Ultim and Brass with UDG25 on top, which is the best dual coil ever. And that has uh, 240 Ts in it, so 8,000 Ma. You're good for like two days on this thing. And we also have the old boy, the old boy by no names with, uh, what do we have? The evil on top. Mm -hmm. And we also have a very sexy setup here. This is the SVA Unimec with the carbon fiber tube and a blackout bottle and the vicious ant apex out of Philippines, which is an amazing flavorful tasty single coil rda furthermore we are vaping on and it's hellfire top to bottom this is the cobra lava edition with the maverick on top and last but not least <clears throat> i have this uh very long <laughs> whoa very erect tank whoa right it is a it is it's called a dwarf but it's very tall i don't quite get it uh but it does chuck clouds and uh, what else? That's it. Everything has uh, Stan's favorite juice, which is Paramel, <laughs> and uh, Taffy Splash. And then to mix with the coffee, I have some uh, Riding Shotgun in the SVA. 
And that's all that I have for you guys. I mean, I have more, but you know. Oh, you know what? I totally could have like highlighted you and I forgot. So Hi, everybody. Oh, so they missed all that beautiful hardware? No, they saw it all. It just wasn't close <sighs> up like Swags is going to be. Mm. <laughs> Dick. Go ahead, Swags. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Good afternoon. Um, welcome to another episode of the Vape Forum. The, the shit show. Show. And we're here today on a somber note. We're missing one of our Key. shout out to Louis panel members. Let's and take a, a moment of silence for Louis. Yes. No one can replace your locks. That's not Got silence. Picks. So, <laughs> Louis, we miss you. Uh, up, basically, you know, as you guys all know, we've been kind. Of, we do it every other week. So you miss one week, and then you get off kilter. So um, scheduling stuff has come into fray with Easter and NBE, and then next week's the UK show. But what we're going to do is we're going to do this show today, and then the UK show next Sunday, and then we'll be off and we'll be back on our regular schedule from the original times of times past. So just bear with us. Pal will be um, promoting the link um, for us every week um, and making sure that you guys know where and when. Um, but if you don't know, just you know, email email us at whatever our email is. If we, I don't think we have <laughs> <laughs> Just leave the promotions to me, Swags. I, I'm very good at promoting. All right, fantastic. So that's what we're going to do. So because the promotions are now not my responsibility anymore, I'm going to get into it. So thank you for coming. Great to see everybody. I see some familiar names in the chat. I see some new names. I love all of you. Mike and Ellie. Uh, until you do something that causes me not to. So enjoy this moment that we have together today. What's going on, panelists? Hello, friends. Um, let's start this off, huh? Uh, first of all, I've got this Smuggler by Sturm. I like it so much, I just got on the list for the 18350, and I went with a full setup, top to bottom. Uh, so I bought a button housing and everything for that. Uh, on top of that, I have the KFUN Prime with the... Um, the wave tank and a special proprietary tip for that. It's glorious. And I have some sort of a strawberry strudel flavor in there to go with my coffee. Cause I don't, I don't do the crooks and coffee thing just because I don't have crooks. Never have. I didn't do um, crooks out of honor of Louis. I did not uh, vape crooks today. That, that's a thing. Yep. Cool. Respect. All right. Well, uh, secondly, I'm vaping on the cycloid version 2.1 because I realized last night I had a bunch of two mech set up. Uh, because I'm on this low end, like limo, if you will, show on Friday nights, the vape stew, and I can't always rock the good stuff. So I rock, you know, I rock that, tube mix. That's, <laughs> dude, that's the wrong way to. T okay, go ahead. Sorry. It's a joke. I think people realize that. Um, if you know me, you realize that. If you're getting to know me, realize that. <laughs> um, on top of that, I have the armor version one with some pimpage. Uh, cause this is not how it originally looks, but I like this setup. I put this little green plug bottle in there. It's glorious. Inside of that, I have tango melon. I got this beauty in. This is the monarchy or the monarchy vapes monarch. The second monarch. Um, I got a couple of Chris Munn's bell caps coming in. I bought the slam cap and the bell cap. Can't wait for those to come in. I like the improvements. Um, Question Swags. Did yeah. you have them polished the bell caps? I don't, I couldn't tell you. Couldn't okay. remember. All right. <laughs> Continue on, sorry. It's all good. So basically, the things I didn't, the two main gripes I had with the V1, they fixed on this. They better utilized the deck space and they uh, made it shorter. So I had to get in on one of these. Uh, I'm still testing it out. I like it. I don't love it. Um, but we'll hopefully see if the slam cap and the bell cap make a difference. If not, you might see this up for sale and uh, you'd be crazy not to try it out because they don't, they're only making 300, I think. Anyways, this is on top of the SVA. Just a buffet, uh, Swags, rack. not the review. Come on, bro. Let's and, go. Uh, <laughs> well, we have time, bro. We're missing <laughs> so I'm taking up the time for Louie. If you guys, hey, X1 in the chat, if you want my buffets to be shorter, I will totally. Oh, stop. That. Don't do that. We're just, I'm just playing right. with you. Finish up. I'm just uh, messing. I have the Swags. Tank on top of here. Oh. Uh, this is good. This is really good. Uh, on top of my other SVA rat because I love the SVA rat. I love uh, Louie. And inside of that, Tango melon and those are my setups. Oh, no, I have this one right here. Check this one out This is the straight Delrin with the dwarf DL on top 
Hey, um, let's hold that up for a second against mine. Why does mine look like a uh, giant? Because this is the steam tuner's top fill tank. Here, okay. here, hold on. This is yeah. a. Ah, uh, uh, where'd mine go? Here this reminds me of something from like uh, five. Years <laughs> Louis ago. said X one. He wants me to make a shorter buffet. I will respect <laughs> your wishes. Mike in LA says X two. I don't know where the heck my freaking. He wants a longer one. Keep going, Swags. Went. What the heck? Lay it on him, Swags. Break it all out. Let it yeah, all the out. Little right one. Here. This is the time to let it all out. Well, I've got beautiful okay. disaster by transistor in here because I just love these juices. They're really flavorful, and I find them to be really good in, in RTAs just as much so as in RDAs. So uh, uh, that's me, and I'm going to pass it back to you, Stan. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, real quick. Before um, before I got to I gotta address what Swag said, that um, – the Vape Stew is not a limo show. The Vape Stew is a show about community and vaping culture, okay? So get that in your head, Swags. You're part of it. Um, <laughs> try, why are you frozen? Swags is... Uh, he's, oh, he's, you're not frozen. Swag, oh, he's Tucker, in reverie. Tucker. Tucker Miller, which I always call Tucker when I feel terrible about. Uh, Tucker Miller, thank you for the 99 cents, sir. Patrick... Kunkel says, love the show. $5. Thank you very much, sir. There has been a Louie sighting in the chat. Um, I know fictitious character. I'm just messing. Um, dude, dude Louie showed up just to troll me. He showed up just to say, shorten your goddamn buffet. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Stian all the way over there in Norway. Nice. All right. So here we go. I am vaping on Bogging the Limelight Purple Juma. And the Dwarf 16, because uh, I'm feeling sophisticated. Um, inside or inside that, I'm rocking some Vaptasia Strawberry Killer Custard in 6, mil six milligram. <laughs> That's how I remind myself. It's not three. Um, I've got the L dot on top of the Lazy Vapors box mod. Um, the Sentinel, Hellfire Sentinel, on top of the SVA Unimec, which nice. I am very much in love with. Good morning, and Wendy Blank. What? I was saying good morning, Wendy Blank. Adrian, I've got the number. old boy with the Maverick on top because old boy action. And My setup might look better than yours. I don't know. <clears throat> the Naria on the Palm Plus. Um I just got this in. Thank you to one of the awesome followers uh, that's in the High End Vape Forum group. And inside all those, I'm literally walk rocking three juices. Vaptasia, Strawberry Custard, Pear Berry from 62 Distribution, which I'm almost out of. I need to re-up because I'm also rocking Paramount, and that is also out. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get on the either IVC website and get some or hit them up to buy some more because that's my favorite juice ever and i love it so Stan, this is your favorite juice ever and you know it you know what i probably it's not my favorite juice but i did like it i admit that i did like it um trying it and it again. looks like it looks like swags if swags got it like a, a teardrop tattoo that's what he'd look like right there with hair you think so right there yeah that's swags right there on the bottle okay all Holy right Holy swags so <clears throat> You totally took me off my train of thought. What was I talking That's about? That's cool. What's up, Show and Tell Vapes? How you guys doing? Hey, Adrian yeah. Why don't you run through some Adrian Hughes in there, too? Why don't you throw, so, run through some shout outs? We got Mailman Vapes, too, in the house. He's doing his thing over on his channel. Anyone that hasn't checked out his channel, check out his channel. You have a Philly Vapes, Philly215. He's another uh, bad MF. Uh, check his channel out. Uh, Sick Boy, Fictitious. They're all legendary. Show and tell Mike in LA, all you guys. Stian tuning in from Norway, like the true badass Nordic Viking that he is, blowing thunderous clouds like Zeus. Um, and we have Graham, who is the mix master that can make any juice on this planet. Uh, super badass mixer. Shane Smith in the house. What's up, Shane? And uh, yeah, take it away, Stan. Did you get your train of thought back? Chappy. Um, Graham Digital Drops says, what's the profile? What's the profile on what, buddy? And Sick Boy says, Stan's hat makes me miss squirrel nut zippers. Me too, bud. 
Um, okay, so <clears throat> you look tremendous vaping that pipe, by the way. Like, I, tell you I, about dude, you look great. Tell us this about is, the pipe, man. This is my tell straw us. hat that I love, and and I only wear it sometimes because everybody makes fun of me for it. But I wear it, I wear it in real life. But I don't care anymore. I've decided, so I'm gonna wear it on my show occasionally. I just would like an X one in chat if to everyone that thinks Stan looks like he was born to vape a pipe. Like he can pull it off. I, I just I could not pull it off. But that pipe makes me want a pipe. You could pull it off if you want to. I don't know, man. Um, I'm not cl I'm not classy like you. you need to get the, some later the, you know the <laughs> last time I wore your big words in your books. <laughs> You know, the last time I wore this hat on a live stream, I was photoshopped onto many Michael Jackson memes. It was uh, it was it was interesting. Um, OK, so there's a funny there's a funny story about this pipe, actually, which is absolute. Look at this. I got I got some Juma action late recently. And I I Juma's my that's dope. Juma's one of my favorite things now. I just got to say. Um, but <clears throat> I was actually watching here. Actually, I can do a website share on this. I saw Mark Todd's review on the Creovate pipe, and I have always been interested in pipes. I actually used to smoke a pipe. Um, I used to smoke some cheap Captain Black tobacco. Uh, I had an ex-girlfriend whose parents owned a tobacco shop, and they always had really cool carved pipes. And I was watching his review, and on his review, now why is this not coming up? Okay, big black screen. Anyway, you can go to uh, creavape.com, I think. Creavape to see a bunch of different kinds of pipes. This one here is a limelight. Uh, it is creavape.com, yeah. And the interesting thing is, is that I was watching Todd's review and I was like, man, I really like that Gandalf pipe thing. So I went on their website and I was looking and they had a black Delrin one that was all really cool looking. I wish I could show you. Um, for some reason I'm having issues with the website. I tried to, I tried to share this last week and it messed up too. It was, it's your internet, Stan. The one it's, you tried to blame on me. It's not my internet. Oh, here we go. I think I got get it. Hold gig, on. Bro. You I don't even gig, it. bro. You don't gig. What? You don't even gig. I don't gig? Yeah, you don't have a gig. Oh, okay. Anyway, so <laughs> I was like, man, I fell in love with all the pipes there. So I started looking into pipes more often, um, because I really like pipes. And I got into 18350s lately, and that just made it even more worse of a want. And I was looking through the BSTs, and there was a young lady from Australia selling this exact setup with a Dwarf 16. And I was like, oh, man, this is awesome. The price is not bad. I was like, uh, I'm interested. And so we got on like a little nightly Zoom thing that we do occasionally, me and Swags. And uh, we were talking about some stuff that we were going to do on the stew or, or uh, you know, I don't remember what we were talking about exactly. But we were talking about some content kind of stuff. And <clears throat> I brought this up. And I said, dude, Swags, look at this. And he's like, oh, that's amazing. And he was all super excited. And he messaged the chick. He messaged her and set up this whole deal. And I was like, but I was, I wasn't showing you so you'd go buy it. I was showing you cause I liked it and he already set up this deal and yeah, I, how, how did, how did, why'd you do that Swags? Cause he's you know, a ninja. This, this sounds like, I think there's a term for this. It's called revisionist history. <laughs> um, you know, this is, this is Stan's take on how things went down, but, uh, uh, push comes to shove. Who's got it in their hand? I do because I'm a good dude because I had that shit on lock and then Stan was like, but I really want it, man. And I was like, all right, it's yours. You know what? Stan? <laughs> You're so funny. And I gave it, I gave him the deal and you know what? I made a group chat and I literally had to force him to respond to the group chat. He's like, you know what? I'm having second thoughts. I don't think I want it after all. So you forgot about, you forgot about that whole part. You were like, nah, you were man, full of it. I never said I'm having second thoughts. I don't want it. I just was busy and couldn't reply to the chat. Don't get don't don't see you're twisting it. Look, you did step you did step down because you decided that you bought too many high end things and you didn't want to purchase it. So I bought it. Um, so that's my that's my do. truth, and I'm sticking to it. So who like brokered the deal? Who got you in touch with this person? Who told you the prices they wanted on it? The real well, truth, it was all me. The information that I me. called from my hard work and energy. Yeah, you, know? you did that for you, and I appreciate it. I didn't have to go through any of that. I shared it with you. Yes, I exactly. know. 
You're a good friend, Swags. Thank you. There we go. We're coming to the conclusion. I was getting ready to translate for everyone again. Yeah, why hey, don't you do that, pal? But I just have to tell I just have to tell you, Swags, I got a better deal than you brokered, by the way. After no, you the just, I, I brokered the same amount of money that you did and I and you saved seventeen dollars. And I think we need a translation from pal because people in hey. the chat are probably watching wondering what the hell's going on. I say um, what what um, Swags is trying to tell you, Stan, is that um, he feels uh, he feels a lot of pride that he found that uh, that pipe and uh, he tracked it down and then he handed it off to you. Mm -hmm. And um, he's just looking for a little bit of acknowledgement. And uh, yeah. and then and Stan, what Stan's trying to say to you, Swags, is that he doesn't give a shit about your hard work. And that um, he's got the pipe and he's the king. Yeah, so absolutely. you need to kiss the ring. And that's 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 pretty much. I I only say the king in the ring because I I feel like I'm Jon Snow right now. So yeah. uh, I think I think You're I gathered the same thing, pal. So I'm glad that we're on the same page and getting better at understanding how to speak Stan. Just know that winter is coming tonight. By the way, it is. You guys winter both is both of you guys suck, pal. You were supposed to translate fairly. That was not a fair translation. That it's, was highly that was highly leaning towards that which is swags. Oh shit. You didn't let me finish though. William Paps just gave me the hookup. epipeaustralia.com. Thank I'm you. I'm going to check that out too. And out of everyone on this panel that could have vaped <laughs> that pipe and pulled it off, Stan is the one. Absolutely. He's the one. I think swags could have done it in a sombrero. Except purple juma is my thing. I am waiting on a CLZ. It's only been um, a few months. That's right. You ordered a purple Juma CLZ, huh? Oh, what's the deal with that CLZ, anyways? All right. So the I'm CLZ. I'm not supposed to remind you about that. You told All right, me to yeah, you're not. It's 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 kind of uh, tender for me. If you guys are familiar with CLZ, gorgeous mods, supposedly three to four weeks from the time that you pay. Um, I paid on February nineteenth. That's all I have to say about that. Okay. Well, can you elaborate? Uh, well, I sent a Juma block that I purchased um, on December nineteenth to Finland, and um, what <laughs> month is it now? Is it March? <laughs> almost April. You're May. close. Oh, it's almost May. Yeah. So I don't have it yet, but I did get a promise. It's not. It's the. It may be the fifteenth promise, but I did get a promise that it's going to ship out on Monday. So we'll see what happens. They, you you got to give you got to give out all the information though, regardless of what you think about it. They they had um, the the modder had some health issues and then moving shops and stuff. So, but I understand where you're coming from and the fact that you made promises a couple of different times. Yes. And, uh, so that's to clarify. So yeah. I I totally understand that people have lives and shit happens. Believe me when I tell you that I understand that. But I think everybody can resonate here with the fact that if you don't ask for I don't if you don't ask a person, you know, who's making something to say, this is when I'm going to ship it out. And then they tell you this is when I'm going to ship it out. And then they do that six times and then they don't ship it out any of those times. That's when it gets a little aggravating because it's not inexpensive. I think. When all is said and done, that mod's going to be seven hundred and fifty dollars, ish. Um, so Ooh, you fancy. When you spend that kind of money on something, even if you spent that kind of money on a two hundred dollar mod, if the modder tells you I'm going to ship it out on this day, regardless of what transpires, if anything, at least reach out back to me. I know you got a bunch of people that you're working with, but you, that's just that's your job, man. I don't, you don't need to, I don't need to make excuses for you and you don't need to make excuses for you. If this is your job and you say, I'm going to ship it out on Thursday and you don't, you re, you, you message me on Friday and you say, I'm sorry, I didn't get it shipped out. This is what's going on. That's how things work. <clears throat> Nobody puts swags in a corner. Nobody. I think I need to update OBS. The damn website thing doesn't work. Um, <clears throat> I'm irritated. Sorry. It's all good. Hey, so aside from the CLZ, is it we're just gonna like talk some hardware and stuff today uh i know we've all got some new stuff we're missing we're missing louie and uh we don't want to get too crazy into a bunch of topics and things so i figured since we got so much new hardware happening and um oh check it out speaking of taking a long time to get something back abstract mods i sent this to get the 510 fixed and uh he had it for a long time man like a long time and that's that's okay though I didn't mind because he stayed in touch with me and he actually sent me a matching drip tip and stuff like uh, 
as it's like some extras as this i'm sorry so that was yeah. really cool um so it happens you know you're you're dealing with you're dealing with guys that are they have other jobs too and stuff uh, and and things like that happen just know that communication is the number one thing and uh trust me i understand because it takes me sometimes a couple days to get the emails and stuff i have made it a point to answer emails two to three times a week <clears throat> and uh, i have to put things aside to make sure that i get in touch with people so it's just one of those things it's hard and uh, everybody we understand but swags did you get anything new that you're well i mean you did get something new you were talking about it a minute ago you gave me like a full freaking review in your your buffet didn't you um, the uh, monarchy, the monarch, the second, yeah. What kind of experience are you having with that so far? It's good, man. Like I said, uh, I had uh, I had a friend lend me the first one, and I knew off the bat I wasn't a fan of it, um, so I gave it back to him. Uh, and then I saw the the V two, and I knew that the V two had improved upon the two things that were my major gripes about the V one, and so I was like, I need to get this. So I got a line on one, and I bought it. Um, but when you like, I, I'm sure people can attest to this, but for me personally, um, if I'm going to spend that kind of money, like $250 on an RDA. I got to love it. Or there's gotta be something that really sticks out about it for me to keep it, uh, in my collection. If, uh, if I'm not going to vape it all the time. Um, and so this, I'm on the, I'm on the line with it. You know, uh, I'm kind of teetering between I'm going to get rid of this thing or I'm going to keep it. I got a couple of caps that I bought for it. Like I said, from a list. Um, and if they really improve it, I, they're going to make it look sexy. It already looks super sexy. I mean, it, it just is a sexy little Addy. Um, but if I don't love it, man, it's gone. Um, it's that's, that's just how it goes. It's, I don't, I'm not like too attached to anything that I'm going to say, all right, for that kind of money, I'm just going to, I'm going to look at it and not vape it. Unless it's the Maverick, because that's what I've been doing since I bought that thing is just looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> You know? That's kind of what you do is you just look at it, right? That's, he yeah, just looks I, at I, it. I that's your thing. Yeah. You know, is, we've been trying to get him to like, we're like, hey, or he says every few days, he goes, man, I, I'm just going to sell the Maverick. And I'm like, man, that's, you should at least give it another try. And all he does is just sit yeah. there and look at it. He, he yeah. won't try it again. So, um, I got too much crap, man. Like I, I got all, I mean, this is really good. But my gripe with this is that I get like maybe four squonks. Uh, up into it before I have to refill my bottle. Now, if I threw this on something with like maybe a 10 mil bottle on it, it would be a little bit better, but it's a great vape. It just, it just goes. Dude, the Venom Tank is a fantastic vape. I got my shout out to Pacific Vapor. It's better than the Venom RDA. You know, it, do you know why it's better? Um, Sure. Why don't you tell me? Because I think no, I'm asking you. What's I, I like <laughs> subjective? No, I, I know, but you said statement. it's better. Yeah, I'm asking you I'm why. Why is it better? Why is I it? I guess better? I said that kind of funny, but yeah, yes. you were like, do you know why it's better? I'm like, do I you don't know, know the reason. <laughs> Swags, you're on spotlight. Go. Why is it better? Right. I think. I mean, you have 45 seconds. State your case. What I like about the Venom RDA. I'll talk about what I like about the Venom RDA and why this is better. Okay. Venom RDA, which is right here is good because it has this wide uh, drip tip, so you can drip it. I mean, I use this as a dripper. There aren't a lot of single coil high-end addies that I find that I could throw on, like, say, you know, my smuggler or whatever, or a high-end tube, and I could drip it, um, which is what you'll need to do if you want to throw this on a tube. It's got a really big build deck, and it's got nice airflow. I mean, it is, what for what it's worth, it's a good RDA. I just find this to be more reduced and more flavorful and more convenient. I mean, I could squonk this, but um, it's 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 like it would be a good mech uh, mech Addy, a mech squonker Addy for me. Like, I don't need to put that because you can put a big build in there. I could put a point three in there and rock it on a mech. Um, I don't know. I just like this one better. I can't. I could not honestly tell you other than those aesthetic reasons. This is more reduced. You have you have the um, plugs right here, the interchangeable plugs and it's just good. I don't know. I mean, I've been waiting for an RDTA to be really good and flavorful and easy to build. Like you can screw the tank off the bottom and make sure your wicks are straight. Um, and that's what I've been looking for. That's why I got rid of the Royal RDTA because it was a Sasha pain in the house. house. What's up? <clears throat> Sasha, I love the Soul S. Love it. 
Solas is fantastic. So the reasons that I like both, um, I think there's better flavor on the Venom tank. Uh, and the airflow is Can really you elaborate good. on your build in the Venom tank that gives you this uh, flavor stand, please, for the audience? Yeah, the, actually, the build in the Venom tank is a 0.28. Um, I think it's 0.28. What are the J-Boy single coils? I have a J-Boy single coil in 0.28. here right now. Yeah, it's a 0.28 um, alien <clears throat> at five wraps, I believe. And three millimeters, and it's it's really great. There's a there's a lot of that's why I have it on this this Satburn mech. There's a lot of space in there. Um, I have the open airflow inserts. Uh, I I did it like that with a bigger coil and everything to compare it to the Venom RDA because the Venom RDA is more of a bigger. It's got bigger stuff in it. It's 22 millimeter atomizer in my opinion, but it has more space in my opinion. It is a 22 millimeter atomizer, but it has more space. And, um, I like to rock the venom in a dripper mode because like you said, it, you can, uh, drip right down the, the drip tip and everything. And I was using it on the stratum zero. Well, the venom tank has a shorter cap. It has smoother airflow in my opinion. Um, it's got the same kind of space and it's built for a 510 drip tip. You don't need an adapter. So it concentrates the flavor a lot more. And I just enjoy this vape more than I enjoy the Venom RDA, even though the Venom RDA is really good. Mm -hmm. So for what was it like 89 Euro? Is that what it goes for? 80 Euro, 89 Euro, uh, somewhere like that. Or like 99 bucks on vaping art, dude. This thing is killer. In fact, it's so killer that the third one I bought three, um, and I but I only bought three because I was trying to get the the matte the satin finish. He bought. And, he uh, only bought three. Huh? No, I only <laughs> bought three because I wanted two. Try to justify it. I, I wanted only two. Three because I wanted to have two. Stan buys three of everything, whether it's that is not Naria, true. Anaria, a, a Skyfall Skyline, he he buys three. He has one for his He's office, smart, man. When you have one a for his of room and one for his, his, his truck. Yeah, I buy multiples of very little. Like, there's not much out there. I buy multiples of Pacific Vapor. Um, uh, this is not a poncho. This is a um, this is a blanket made with love from uh, Wendy Blank. It's and, a smock. Uh, it's uh, usually it's on the back of my chair, but it's a little chilly in here, and in honor of Jon Snow, I'm wearing it. Because it's a shawl. All right. So, it's a shawl. It is a shawl. Yes. Somebody asked me about the Naria in the chat, and uh, do you guys – have you guys Jealous. used the Naria? No. I want it, though. I have a Narca, and I'm satisfied. I've come to – like, I, when I bought it, I was like, I want one Nar mod in my collection, or Nar Addy, and I got the Narca, and I'm good. I don't need anything else. Sick boy said, okay. hashtag dreamers money. Have you, have you, <laughs> have you used a, a Narca? Do you have a Narca or a Narda or a Naria or any of the Narmod stuff, pal? I've never owned anything from Narmods. And, have and you tried anything from Narmods? No. And like the, the, the Narca is the, the unicorn that's still on my list. And that is only because when I was at Vegas, 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 yeah, Vegas, Expo. Vegas, <laughs> Vegas, it's Vegas, baby. It's like, Latest. <laughs> when I was at the Expo, talking with uh, Mark Todd for a couple days, he said that like, Narca was his. If he had to pick one and just vape forever, it would be the Narca, not the Narda. So, um, being easily influenced by uh, people like you guys and uh, fictitious and those guys, I, I want to buy it. So. Well, that's the one that I want, but I don't own anything from them at all. The interesting thing, bringing up, Mark, bringing up Mark Todd's opinion of the Narca, and then what Swags, I know how he feels about the Narca. Um, <clears throat> so when, when Mark Todd did his review of the Naria, he, I don't think he liked it as much as he liked the Narca, right? Um, I'm pretty sure I may, I don't want to be saying the wrong thing. I'm sure I think he liked it. He just didn't like it as much as he liked the Narca. Um, in my opinion, Dang. I prefer the Naria over the Narca. I actually sold my Narca a while back. Uh, I'm not going to lie. They, and they I, kicked him out of the group on Facebook. 
fictitious <laughs> Todd has a specific style and he's totally right and I'm yeah just, absolutely I'm a, a fanboy though so if Todd I, I want to own Todd's favorite dripper just to discuss him and him and uh Damien whatever him and Damien I wish Damien would post more reviews like that <laughs> that that channel I binge watch that channel in like seriously a week every video yeah I, I wish Damien was still doing videos man because that Same. dude is he's funny too say uh, in his intro yeah <laughs> he's got one of the best intros like sound soundtracks ever actually when swags puts on a uh a beanie he kind of looks like damien a little bit minus the ponytail but minus anyway the so the point was short hair don't care <laughs> i feel like the flavor is on point like the narmod's flavor is good across i mean it's just as good as the narca or the naria in my opinion um the airflow I felt is smoother and I don't know. I've only had it for two days. Okay. So take this with a grain of salt, please. I'm just going to mm -hmm. give you my first impressions. First impression. First impressions. Uh, I feel like the airflow is a little smoother and I don't know if I just got lucky with my build. There's no whistle whatsoever. Um, I could not, not get the whistle, not get the Narca, not to, I could not get the Narca to not stop to whistle. whistling. How much yeah. wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck a wood? Um, but I, I am a big fan. I am a big fan of the Naria so far. Uh, and I like how the drip tip goes to the cap and it doesn't have the little lip on it. Um, Is that a Teflon it, drip tip? It looks tip? more schvelt. Svelte? Yeah, I like, I like the sh. Yeah, because think about it. I think that with the Narca, right, you have the lip up top here. So it's a little taller. You know, it's like a top knot. Yours is. It, yeah, just, this looks a lot. This looks kind of sexier, in my opinion. Mm. <clears throat> Everyone's like making me sad in chat. Everyone's saying Damien posted he'll never do reviews again. Yeah, I know. It. it stinks, doesn't it? No, you know what? He's busy, man. You guys know the story behind that. Damien. I'm not mad at him. I'm Damien sad used to for me. work in film. I'm selfish. You know, and and he has a bunch of kids, like a lot. You know, he got busy when he was, uh, you know, a young father. Strong swimmers. And uh, basically, he, he changed jobs, and the jobs, like, got hours that are different. So, you know, that's what he focuses on right now. You know, who's to say he has to be retired forever? And even if he said, I'm never doing this again, people change, man. Times change. He liked doing it. People respected his opinion. We all miss him. So, um, so what you're saying is he's coming back. Yeah, absolutely. I've, I've spoken with him and uh, in my dreams. Um, can you, can and my, I can go get my dream catcher, but you guys also have to have a dream catcher in order in order for me to be able to send those to you. It's kind of like airdrop. I just like listening to his voice. I turn on Damien's uh, uh, mm. videos when I want to go to sleep, and he just he talks me to sleep. You want to talk his, about something? His, his production quality of his reviews is oh yeah. It's like what's up, notch. Swags? This <laughs> camera, everything is the the Killick. Custom <laughs> mailman vapes too said I've done some air kids. lab <laughs> RDA is a banger and they're coming out with another one. They dropped the list yesterday. Yep. I did not know that air lab was made in China, by the way, dude, I didn't, I didn't know, know that. that the armor mech was made in China. That this is something new. I did not know that until I posted the, uh, flavor review. And then, uh, I found out that, uh, that's an armor interesting Max and DDP is made in China. That brings up an interesting topic that may be a little touchy, but let's talk about it. Yeah. Why not? So um, you know how I roll, Stan. I'm very touchy. Can something made in China be high end? Have we talked about this before? No. Well, let's be honest. Let's let's look at the track record. The fact of the matter is, word on the street is that Armor Max and DDP uh, or D mods are Chinese made or Chinese companies, but they do not want people to know about that. Um, and there's even further word on the street that uh, that a certain cloner company is actually a part of said company and they're basically the same quality product. I mean, outside of the solo RDA, right? The D mod solo and how it spins, like the clone of it doesn't spin um, for you to be able to uh, line up your airflow or whatever. I mean, this is a touchy subject, but, and it may be hearsay, but this is word on the street. So I think there's a, there's definitely a stigma around China and their ability to produce high end because of the tarnishing of, or the, uh, yeah, the tarnishing of the reputation because of all these mass produced uh, modern companies. Yeah, the, you know, 
I am of the mindset that um, high end is just a term. Um, it's just a term used to describe things that are done really well, really clean. You're going to pay a premium for. Um, it's just a really super, super nice and not mass manufactured piece. Uh, and if a small, if a, if a Chinese company can do something like that, and it's a super, I've, I've seen super nice machining come out of China. Um, I've seen super nice pieces come out of China. And if a company is, is hired by another company to do their manufacturing for them and it's of their quality and they say, and they approve the quality, the, the company approves the manufacturing quality, um, and it comes out and it's just gorgeous and it's worthy of the term high end. I don't see any problem with that. Yeah, f uh, fictitious character ex echoes your your uh, sentiment. He said China can produce good stuff. There's no doubt about that. Like Stan is saying, high end is a marketing term. Yes. And and I I yeah you know, I don't think there's anything controversial about what we're talking about at all. Like I was under the impression like the D mod solo was made in Malaysia, but I I heard like Dude, otherwise, if, like it was made in China and Air Lab and all that stuff. Um, the things that I considered very, very beautiful and machine very excellent and, the, and finding out they're made in China doesn't really, I don't know, it doesn't really change anything for me, you know, except for there is kind of a price thing because the cost of labor and the, you know, who knows how big the, these facilities in -house, are. In-house, man. Think about it this way. If you look at luxury watches, high-end watches, this is the easiest way for me to be able to make this, um, this comparison. Um, you have two watches that come out of Rolex uh, that are that are the bigger names, like Tudor and Rolex, right? What makes a Tudor less expensive than a Rolex when it's its sister company? It was named by Henry VIII. That's why. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, it's it's what's inside. You know, they, on the outside, all the parts are the same. You know, a Tudor watch is all Rolex parts on the outside, but on the inside, they go out. Uh, and grab, uh, you know, a generally used Swiss movement, a Swiss ETA movement for the inside, as opposed to an in-house Rolex movement. So the in-house is what I want to focus on here. When things are made in-house, that basically that that makes it, you know, demand that premium because they have hands on the whole process. They can say this is up to our standards from top down uh, or bottom up, whatever you want to say. So that's where it's tough with high end and vaping because there's so many other. Um, you know, pieces that come into play where it can still be high end, despite, you know, have the, the, the modder having uh, control over every aspect of the process. Chris Hicks, uh, as far as I know, Haku is made in Korea, not China. And Wade Nixon said Australia, the designer, uh, he lives in Australia and his father-in-law lives in Korea and that's where it's manufactured. I'm really terrible about remembering these types of things. So where's the flavor made? The flavor is made in Malaysia. Okay. Bam. I could have looked at the bottom. I just thought about that. Um, speaking of things that are made in Malaysia that you were talking about earlier, uh, the flavor is a fantastic little RDA. I love it. And if you have your hands, have your chance to get your hands on one, do it because it's worth it. Um, they, or Adrian Yu, the modder, is coming out with the RDTA. And that's the, that's the thing, man. That's the thing right now. The it's eighteen three fifties and RDTAs um, <clears throat> or tanks. Uh, no, I and should say also RTAs, tanks. man. You're RDTAs. seeing a lot more. Yeah, you are. I mean, this four one five, dude. Oh gosh. We're on the uh, street. Something's coming from DB. Really? Why? Why that's would you say that? Say. Why would you that's say that? And not elaborate, Swags. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. If you want to so, know more, join our group on Facebook. There Ooh, you go. So the flavor tank, the flavor tank is coming out, and I'm super stoked on that because a flavor RDA, it's just a. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen the deck or anything, but I'm pretty sure it's a flavor RDA with just a tank underneath, and I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm excited about it. I don't know if it's gonna squonk. I don't know, but I've already. Uh, I've. It, we're we're gonna get one. We're gonna get one. Gonna happen. And. Um, I'm just super stoked. Well, here's on the that, deal: it's so. no, it's no, it's it's no, um, nothing to, you know, withhold in the sense that, like, all right, Adrian is doing it this way. If you're in the group, you you already know this. But if you're a flavor owner already, that's he puts his list up. I like this. Like, if you own a flavor, flavor owners X one, 
and he ge he's giving everybody who owns a flavor priority on saying if you wanted the rdta just you know just post underneath here and so he has all the records to see who has them if you have it second hand i'm sure he'll reach out to you but you can get one if you want one i love that because it's not mass produced he, he does them in batches it's a great rda it's all 100 percent made in malaysia and he gives you the ability to if you have a flavor already get the rdta so another so, big one that people are mentioning in chat is the riviera as well yeah the That's riviera the riviera it, it that, is highly I'm, i don't know um i don't really want to talk about i don't know the modder i don't know that group very well although i am in the group i don't know how they feel about sharing information i do know that a list will be in the future very soon on isn't that. todd or todd already did a review on it <clears throat> that's not that's not anything? what i'm talking about i'm talking about like their groups and stuff like what's happening in their groups if you're not part of their group i don't want to share information out of that group i just i just know that a list is going to happen soon on that and that's pretty much all i'm going to say about that but uh the riviera does look really cool you know i have if i had a feeling about rdtas and i'm not gonna lie the 24 millimeter the 25 millimeter rdtas that have come out of china in the past have i've never been super in, super interested in i mean when when the um limitless one came out and that's like kind of started the whole movement in the the mainstream uh in my opinion i really really dug it but it's just because it was different. It's not that fantastic of a, an atomizer, right? And um, the all of these other ones started after it. You know, the typical Chinese trend, the way they work. Oh, it sold really well. Let's all make one. So I was never really impressed with another one after that. And when these companies, these high-end companies started make, they started all announcing, you know, all these RDTAs and things coming that they're going to do. Um, and a lot of them are squonkable. I was like... What's the point? What's the point of having a squonkable RDTA? Uh, it's it's kind of, kind of, you know, pointless in my opinion. But I got this thing, and when I got this thing, I ran it on a squonk the first week I had it, and I'm cool with it. <laughs> it didn't bother me at all. I filled up the tank, squonk bottles full. Um, I like being able to take you know, 20, 30 hits off of it without having to squonk again. You know what I'm saying? It's got That's enough juice. That's a lot of hits. I don't know if I can get that many hits. You don't think you can get 20 hits? You don't think you can get 20 hits out of a full two milliliter tank? Dude, I don't I, think you can get I, I've taken like maybe five Project or six X. hits. And look how many, how much juice I have left. It's like half of the tank. I don't know what's going on. I mean, it's great. It's super flavorful, but like I'll take six hits off of this and then it'll be half full. All like, right. Well, I've we're going to, we're going to, I just took five hits. And we're going to, this is still full. We're going to test it. I'm going to get at least 20 out of it. But I enjoy that fact about it. And um, the fact that it's a really good tank or a really good vape, it, it just helps it. So um, maybe it's because I'm, <laughs> it's rowdy as. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put a uh, James Mux in there? I got some James on? Mucklin aliens in here, kid. What is going on over there, Swags? Hey, shout out to Weenus in the house. We0609 tuning in, gracing us with his presence. Let the trolling begin. Thank you. We hey, you know what? Tony Mitchell just said two milliliters is about good for about eight to ten hits. I'm going to show you. I just took I'll five minutes off this. That, I'm, I'm going to lie. I'm going to show you no the truth. to this. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> it depends like, on how, how big your hits are. Eight, and how eight, big your... Ten hits, no matter what build you have in there, no matter how much cotton, how much you put into the tank. I think like the like the Project X, I could only vape that for like twenty minutes before I have to refill it. Yeah, it's nine. How, Phenomenal favor. How I'm at nine. annoying Hold on, is it ten. that the bottom half of the uh, Pusar Project X is like darker? So you, I, I guarantee you, everybody at one point has been like, "There's still juice in this," and they get a monster. They dry hit. I, I fictitious was building his last night, and I, I, I gave him the FYI. I'm like that, that, that bottom part of your tank that looks, that looks a little darker right there. That's not e juice. That is actually just darker ultim. And the first time you get this thing drained you'll take a massive dry hit because you'll think that part is that is mine no this is mine oh okay this is unused I've, I've been vaping yours i've been saving this one to make it perfect i don't think mine is right here my project x but i respect um, that i respect that i prefer Actually, I the project I the x off. <laughs> i am vaping at 200 watts on my i 70. prefer the project x uh with the extension tank 
like it has to have the extension tank on it. I mean, it's expensive, but it has to have it on it, in my opinion. Um, Does it diminish the flavor, though? And I have to clarify, everybody's like, you good know, question. two mils will last a good long while with round wire. This is a 0.28 single coil. This is a dual fused alien. Okay. And this is a decent sized coil. And I've already taken 10 hits out of it. And look, the bubble's going to come up. There's the bubble right there. They were kind of weak hits, though. No, they yeah. weren't. <laughs> That was my typical, that's my typical, va I'll, I'll get five more out of it. This is how I typically vape. That's a sat burn, by the way. Um, I was going to get one of those because it's sexy AF, but I wound up buying the 18350 Smuggler instead. And I have four mods, count it, four regulated squonkers coming in. Um, and uh, that's high end, isn't it? It's like, I forgot that I bought these things and I'm like, I haven't got like all, all my dudes here. They're like, I got this in and I got this in and I got this in. And I'm like, shit, I haven't got anything in. I need to just step down from high end. But then I realized I bought some expensive, highly sought after uh, regulated squonkers. And it just takes time after you get on the list to have made and sent to you. It just takes time. Like you have to, you have to order shit and then just forget about it. And then when yeah. it shows up, you forgot that you ordered it. And it's yeah. like, winning the lottery yeah if you remember getting into high end anybody in the chat like it that's just getting into high end or, or your time when you got into high end and you're like on the bsts and you're constantly buying stuff and like every day you have mail coming in when you, you get to a certain point where it's all right well you got all that stuff that's easily attainable through buy sell trade and now you're buying other stuff that i mean it could be anywhere from 200 dollars to 600 whatever it's not the price it's more like how do you get it um, you know, through, through a list or whatever, a randomizer, and then you get your hands on it, but you buy it, you're buying a spot. It's like a pre-order. You're getting a spot to pre-order and then you're waiting for it to be made and get sent to you. So it's like all of a sudden it stops, but then you get these big things like maybe all at once or maybe over time. That's where I'm at right now. Um, Chris Hicks <laughs> asks, have you tried mesh tubes in the tank with cotton in the tubes? I've never done Go that ahead, before. Sasha. You know what? Um, I'm not the mesh wick type of guy. Uh, I don't really prefer it. Louie is the guy Excellent. that Robert. I would ask that question to, and he's not here, so I'm sorry. Um, Robert Riggin says, any of you guys tried the dot mod MTL RTA? It's ugly as sin, but damn it, it is flavorful, wide open draw, similar to the Evil Reaper V3. I've heard it's good, actually. I've only heard good things about it. I haven't tried it. I Better flavor than the Reaper, man. I use the Reaper. Here it is on my smuggler. I use the Reaper religiously. Is that a different tank on your Reaper? I, I'm used to you having that long ass Ultim one. Yeah, dude. Um, I have the Ultim extension, but I got this clear. He has the clear tank available now, and you know how I feel about clear. I'm way, especially with stainless. I'm way more into clear. Do tanks. you know how I feel about clear, Stan? How do you feel about clear? <laughs> Well, I bought all of the steam tuners tanks for the dwarf, um, and you don't use they're any just of them sitting in a drawer, waiting for my second one. My deck. That's how I feel about clear tanks. I bought you them. Know, all. You know, I feel about clear tanks. I mean, they're pretty cool if you can't get it in Ultim. That's how I feel about you're it. You're you're an Ultim lover, and that's okay. I like Ultim too, but I prefer clear on the tank. It makes him less self conscious about the color of his pee. If I if I Ultim could get in if I could get Brass. the whisper stuff, the whisper tank and clear and everything without having to purchase the black tank, I'd be a lot happier because I like the clear and stainless look. That's me. Um, I don't think you can buy just the... Dude, I'll tell you what. There are certain touches of Ultim that I do like. This this setup 16. right here is a oh, great green screen. The first time that I've been like, all right, let me get a touch of Ultim in there. This is the flavor with the Ultim cap. And I just think that just a little touch of Ultim gives it that look. Well, my 18. middle name is Overkill, and uh, really, I just, yeah, I just really like Ultim. It's just the most beautiful finish ever to me. And brass, hey, you do like brass. It requires a lot of maintenance and cleaning, but look at that know. tank is halfway full, and I got twenty hits out of it so far. Um, Pacific Vapor says hashtag piss colored mods equals master race. There you go, you're part of it, pal. Um. <sighs> Well, you had a you had a uh, gloom tem, didn't you? Me? I did. No, Stan. Yeah, yeah uh, no, I like all. I like the I will see. I got rid of the gloom tem because it just wasn't what I wanted. I didn't like the MOSFET that was in it. Um, <clears throat> it's a really you didn't have the MOSFET. Yours was the mech. No, I had the MOSFET. Um, 
I didn't have the upgraded oh, one. Oh, you did have the MOSFET. I had the RAM. Yeah, you had a RAM. Um, the I did love the feel of it. I loved the mod. I loved the 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 way it felt and looked. I just didn't like the way it performed as much. Um, I loved the fact that you could swap out the buttons and you know the five tens and things. And that's what led me ultimately into getting one of these because this just is an awesome performer it has the same feel the same kind of look um and you know the detonator switch and everything and i love this mod absolutely love it and i'm so happy that i did that as uh, an aside michelle lynn Duldime <laughs> said uh, she was talking to fc but she said um with the uh, same coils it's always interesting to see how different rdas work with the same build and i know she can she can understand this because i do the same thing like i will have you know, five or six RDAs set up with the same, you know, 0.28 micro alien or whatever single. And I have um, Tango Melon in all of them. And I'm like, wow, there's three main priority flavors in this juice, but it tastes different in every setup, you know, and it vapes different. So it's like, it's a, it's, you have, you know, like a, like a case study or whatever you have your, your constant, you know, it's like I have constant. So it allows me to be like, uh, I, I know whether I like an RDA. It may not be the, the build for the RDA and I'll understand that. And I'll give it a chance at the convergent or the <clears> Monarch. <throat> You're not rocking a rowdy ass like coil in these, these, these decks that are meant to have like a round wire or they're meant to have maybe a micro fused clapton or something like that at most. That's one thing about these designs is you have to really kind of think about what the modder was intending. I mean, not everybody does that. Uh, most things in the mainstream you're going to get, you can put pretty much a lot of people just put whatever they have in it and go with it. And, um, with, with a lot of the high end stuff, uh, you have to kind of think about what the modder was trying or what the modder thinks would be the best kind of way to vape it. Um, uh, Sasha Barak, I don't know how to say your last name. Sorry. Uh, I'll Barack. say glass for you. Barack. Uh, he's the modder for Van and Dell, one of them. And he said, we just made a deal with Stratum store. Our stuff will be available there next week. This advertisement was paid for by Swaggins. So uh, you have to put a hundred bucks in super chat swags. <laughs> so, so basically you can get free uh free priority shipping in the u.s with the code the vf no, free, pri free i think it's yeah we'll just go with that i'm not gonna make promises Look free Martin, priority Martin shipping Martin's in the vf the in the vf in the u.s uh with code the vf t-h-e-v-f on the stratum.store so that's pretty cool uh thank you very much to our partner stratum.store for that and when our group hits 2000 uh 2000 followers on facebook I'll be giving away a Stratum Store hoodie and possibly something else as well as running a waffle for a really cool piece of uh, hardware. So that is something to look out for on the Facebook group. So go check that yeah, out. We're like, we're like 15 away or <clears throat> 25 away. Michelle uh, wants to know where Louie's at and he is in Swaggin's closet next to his pile of gold. That's where Louie is. That is yeah. where Louis is. Actually, Swaggins is guarding his cell in the dungeon. Uh, Louis actually locked up right off screen. I'm in the I'm in the wine cellar. I'm actually bottling uh, a new uh, strain of uh, of weed infused um, wine. It's interesting. It's actually it's high dollar stuff. We like to use the term cannabis, Swags. So okay, it's the scientific nomenclature. Well, I wasn't gonna. I it, weed could have. There's been a any, negative connotation. Could have been nomenclature. With, could have been, um, with the know, other word, lion infused wine. But now you've gone ahead and gotten us demonetized. Thank you. Tyler. Big Actually, red not. vapor channel. Scientific word. Ah, Big science, bro. Do you even science? We care about science in the United States, don't we? That's right. Big red vapor channel says I'm new to high end to the high end scene. Any suggestions for a good mod and atomizer to get? Um, a Haku cruiser. Okay, cruiser. before, <laughs> but it depends. Jump out it, of the gate. We need to like some variables. Sand spade. What do you want to spend, and what are you looking for? Yeah, you need to you need to kind of decide what you want to spend. You need to basically decide how you want to vape, uh, and then I will tell you for mod. Uh, I will always, I've had such good experiences with this company just as a consumer that, and I've, the people that I've sent to them have been very happy. And the reason being is because the modder will stay in contact with you. The modder does good work. It's one of the lower cost high end stuff, in my opinion. 
some of the lower lower cost high end stuff in my opinion. So getting started isn't like breaking the bank really. And he sends you update photos constantly mm-hmm. and it's awesome. And that is DPM mods uh out of the Philippines, I believe. Yeah. They- yeah, I don't own f- any DPM mods, but I got to say just from living vicariously through Stan, um, they're gorgeous. And he, I mean, for like I've done custom made. All right. And I've, and I've definitely sat and studied the different guys that do be- They do beautiful work, but it's like three times the amount of money and it takes three times the amount of time. I mean, Stan sent him a block and basically that's only the, the only thing that made it take as long as it did. Um, because the guy just pumps them out and their quality and the the magi is tiny and i it's, actually i repressed that memory in my head because <laughs> i didn't want to buy one but like i actually have it on my list of like want to buy i have a list that's growing of like you know things to determine whether or not i want to get it um and it just makes sense for a custom made um mod dual 18650 so small and it's a regulated squonk and it's under 300 dollars Right. They they have well they have multiple they have the Magi, which is a dual eighteen six fifty two fifty C. They have the um the Limo, which is a single eighteen six fifty, or I believe they make a twenty seven hundred now. Um single DNA seventy five C. Uh they also do the Casper and he has his own bottle system that he's created, which is awesome. So like these cutouts here, he has his own bottle system that basically you don't have to line up tubes or anything i mean it's just put it in pop it it's good um and in the same price range i'm only speaking on these two companies because i feel like for what they are um people are just rolling the chat i haven't even looked for what they are the customer service and the quality at the price range is really good for somebody starting out in my opinion um mk i don't feel like these are outrageously priced for what they are and uh, they're really good mods, and they're actually not that far off from the cost of the the DPM stuff, depending on what kind of custom stuff you get done to the DPM. So, um, yeah, those are two two modders that I would check out if if you're looking for something a good mod or hell, stra- hit up hit up Stratum Store and check out the OLC stuff. Uh, it's going to be a little more costly for anything fancy, but their basics their basic line of um, Stratum mods, huh? The 212 is affordable. The Delrin um, isn't the regular Delrin isn't crazy in my opinion. Well, that's um, yeah, that's a regulated non squonk. Yeah, um, they're actually dropping a V4. Keep your eyes out. <clears throat> Shout out to IID Vodka. Uh, vodka. 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 Frames Janklin Vapor in the house. Hi guys. Hello. We love you. Oh, there's PJ Mallory. That guy right there. What's up, PJ Mallory? Thank you very much for my awesome naria that i am thoroughly enjoying that man thanks man, pj and, thanks for you know what stand. Thanks, i know where your loyalty thanks pj i have to make it clear that uh, pj mallory did it. not make any money off me he sold it to me for rrp very even, stand-up even, guy even better thanks for hitting very him up stand-up and guy yes. you are the taking man your stance you've taken your stance pj <laughs> <laughs> you've chosen your side yep uh, is there going to be a review on that, uh, Stan? When is that review going to go up? Yeah, when is that review coming out? For what? Uh, for what? Anarie. You're vaping the- like a unicorn right now. Oh, am I going to review it? Dude, I'm not a reviewer. I, I review things. I might review it. Hell, it's kind of I'm cool. not a reviewer. It's oh, you've, a heard, cool- you've, you've heard it here first. Stan is Look, not a reviewer. Look, I do, I do I, reviews. I don't to review on anything. I do Just, reviews occasionally. If I review, watch my review. Do not watch Stan's. No, no, no. This is, a, this is a vaping lifestyle channel. Okay, that's what I've decided. Mm. Um, mm. And how how I I do reviews occasionally. How did, how did and you I will create your vape your vape. You S O B. Let me speak. <laughs> <laughs> I do reviews occasionally, and like I said before, I will continue to do reviews on stuff that I think is cool and interesting. And yeah, I might do a video on the Naria. Now that I'm thinking about it, um, I'm a reviewer to the core, to my inner mm, that booty, deepest though. darkest depths. Oh, Tony Mitchell has a good question for Swaggins. It's not family friendly around here. <laughs> Tony Mitchell says, "What's the difference between the two one two and the three oh three? Go swags. One's a mech and one's a MOSFET. There you go. My two one two is downstairs. The three oh three is the MOSFET. The two one two is the mech. Yeah, which is awesome, by the way. Very cool. Very cool. 
two one two. Review boy. coming. No sick boy, not RRP in a free keen mod, just RRP. James uh, Franklin Vapor said you do reviews. <laughs> Uh, uh, we said Stan doesn't review anymore. He's an Instagram model and a YouTube personality. He's basically my pillow guy of vaping. I am changing the channel to high end <laughs> beard care products. Oh, and, God. Uh, I'm going to start, I'm going to start doing videos on high end, uh, beard care products and how to properly maintain a, a beard so that you don't end up looking like pal 702. True. And a fedora. <laughs> Hey, what is we we've approached the one hour mark? So classy, Stan. I'm just saying, you look very classy, and then I look. Besides this beautiful shawl, I just kind of look. Really I well. think you look gorgeous. Um, yeah, what right what is something we've kind of? I don't know if we've touched. No, we haven't really touched on this yet. But what is something that you guys are chasing over the next two weeks? Paper. I'm chasing paper first, yeah, and then I'm chasing. Um, I ordered a mechanical tube. Mod See you, Mac. Out of, Thanks for hanging out. out. Bye, Mac. Mac. Thank you. Love you. Um, Sorry, I'm, pal. It's okay. I interrupt you guys all day. So uh, <laughs> I ordered this really nice Juma. Uh, it's a mech tube. It's like stainless steel. Oh, and the Juma. Japanese one? Yes. Oh. And it's I, I found it through that 415 group. But I, I got into a different group. And it's called, it's called Nihon Mods. Or like the symbol is like Japan in kanji. And they have like a really cool 18350, but I'm not into that. I don't do mouth to lung, but then they had an 18650. So I ordered that. Um, it was like 200 bucks, oh. 50, 50 bucks shipping. But um, I'm excited for that. And then I was waiting on the, I always want to call this the fat boy or the little boy because of the atomic bombs. I don't know why. Is that weird? Oh. Yeah, that's weird? weird. That's messed up. I watch a lot of war <clears throat> documentaries, but the old boy. I was really looking forward to getting this, and I had no idea how this switch worked. I didn't watch any reviews, and uh, very interesting. But yeah, the Japanese one and um, the Mav, t the Mav T, Mav T. Those are the two things that I'm looking. The for. Mav T I purchased a long time ago, and I can't wait for it to get here. I have no idea what's the deal. It's just out in space somewhere. So. Is it Squonk? There, there. It's, it's oh. yeah. It's an RDTA. No, Sorry. does it is it squonkable? Oh, I don't know. I've no because it looks like the tank on the bottom is tiny, and it's just like, what's the point, man? But what if it's squonkable? Then it is. There is a point. Yeah, absolutely. I bet Otherwise, you. Otherwise, you're gonna have to pull that cap off and refill it every let's, five hits. Let's let's find out right now. Fictitious character is the Mav T squonkable? Go. Um. So, what do you? What about you, Swags? Is there anything that you're going after lately? <laughs> absolutely. I'm waiting on the insider. By oh uh, yes, the inside. No, by I am. It's by I am. Uh, I keep thinking it's core design because I see it on their page. Um, but I want the I am. Uh, it's a BF sixty um, non squonk, and also they have another one, the Spitfire, uh, that I may be interested in. So those those are what I'm looking at because I I got a couple more tanks recently. I have three dwarves now at this point. Um, and so I'm just looking for a couple of regulated non because I'm getting rid of my uh, LE Blue Kimberly. Um, the Insider is a side by side, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, I really would love to, to get my hands on one of those. <clears throat> is that Does it? Does anyone know of any like single coil RDAs that are badass that are not single sided that are coming out or have came out recently? Anyone in chat? Yeah. There is. Anyone? I don't know if it's badass because I don't have it, but. Um, 415 is releasing a new one. And speaking of 415, uh, Robert Reagan says, any of you guys order the new Air Lab? Uh, it's called the C something. I don't remember. C I have the original C and it's good. So I don't C have to buy the next one. No. He, he said, did any of you guys order the new Air Lab? And what are your thoughts on the 415? My 415 is in the mail. Um, yeah, Swaggins has the original Air Lab. Uh, I was going to get on the list... And I decided against it just for now. I'm going to wait until a couple of stores get it. Um, maybe like a new shear or something. The Mav T doesn't squonk per okay. Chris Hicks. There you go. So we says, we0609, um, our resident uh, encyclopedia and um, just all around G. Um, he says, that type is sweet. 
Uncle Stan, tell me of simpler times of VHS and dial-up internet. <laughs> well, you see, son. Um, yeah, I'm not doing that. Um, Do the point here, the pipe point. <laughs> here, <laughs> you, here's like, the deal. You could totally lecture me right now. I look like a fucking punk, and you, you have the pipe, and I'm all blowing massive clouds everywhere. Lecture. Give us a lecture. Dude, I, I honestly... I've been through six battery changes, seven battery changes on this pipe since I received it midday yesterday. Uh, I am abs. I don't know if it's. The I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change the tank on here, uh, and see if it's just the tank. But I am loving this setup. I really am. I vaped it all day. You know another working. 18 or 16 millimeter tank that you can just swap out. Well, no. I mean, it's a 510. I can put any tank on it I want. Um, oh okay i didn't know how big the uh the the bottom part was oh no it doesn't it you know what it's one of those things where you can like the oh, way so this it'll works just look is monstrous if you put something else on the it. way this works is it's just, it's just a contact it's a mech it's just a contact and this is an adapter an adapter that you screw on for the 510 so basically you screw this onto any tank and it's a 510 drip tip here's the thing screw it here as you're going yeah, through that, I mean, I'm noticing like people are talking about RTAs. That's the thing, man. That's the, the trends are going towards RDTAs uh, and RTAs. Like that's what you're seeing a lot of. Like people are in prototype phases. You're hearing like whispers and rumors about certain things. You're seeing things. I've seen a lot more of that than I have RDAs. So that's that's why. Like, cause I'm thinking I'm racking my brain, being like, what's coming out that I'm interested in that's an RDA. I haven't yeah. seen a lot. Um, no, and that's exactly. because the trends are going towards those lanes. That's why if I was a high-end modder, I'd be designing a badass uh, single-coil RDA right now because it'd be the only one dropping. Um, I mean, other than the, the Apex, I mean, they're smart. They dropped it at the perfect time because everyone's doing RDTAs. Let me and, answer the other part of Robert Reagan's question real quick. He asked about the 415, and <clears throat> he said he already has one in the mail, and I think he just wants to be feel justified in his purchase or uh, not justified. I don't know what the word is I'm looking for, but... He wants to feel some comfort from Stan. If you are interested, if you like, well, if you like a, if you like a mouth to lung vape and you purchased the different um, positive pin inserts that change the airflow, you have totally got a winner, man. You're going to enjoy the hell out of this thing. I love that. Now, here's the thing. Let me use my pointer here. The tank and the top and the drip tip are all completely different from what this thing came with. There's so many damn accessories available for this thing that I basically doubled the price when I bought it because I'm a knucklehead. Um, but I only purchased this tank because people in the High End Vape Forum Facebook group asked, asked one of us to. And uh, I'm crazy enough to do it based on that. And so I got it so I could talk about it. And man... I am so happy that I did. I'm so happy that somebody brought it to my attention. I'm now watching for their RDA that they got, they've got in um, testing right now. And super, super happy with this RTA. And I'd like to hear your opinion on it, Robert, when you get it. Because I don't know a whole lot of people that have this thing. Um, as Yeah, I, I really enjoy it. I really do enjoy it. As far as things that I'm looking forward to coming out... <clears throat> that I'm going after. Um, the 67 mods has a couple of things happening. Uh, currently, the one that's about to ship is the 67 Go, which is, um, what's the name of Easy the spikes. DNA board? What's the name of the DNA board in here? It's the- uh, Go. Yeah, DNA okay. Go. The DNA Go. It uses the DNA Go. It's an 18350 regulated mod. Um, and so I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to the Riviera. Uh, I'm looking forward to that flavor RDA tank. Um, I think that's really what's on my radar right at the moment because I don't want to get too crazy like I did recently. I've been I've been going through spurts of crazy buying just way too much junk. Not junk, but way too much stuff. Um, Graham, you troll. The room spinning. What? My green screen does not. Well, my, my green screen may look good, but I look like I'm, you know, invisible. Like... I'm falling. I'm, I'm being digitized right now. So I, I think you look phenomenal today. Thanks. I think you look fantastic. You should have a vapor Swaggins hat on though. Robert Reagan, oh, yeah. buddy. If you're not an MTL guy, um, should I talk about your mug? I man, even wide open, the wide open airflow. It, it's an MTL merch. tank. It's an MTL tank. You're not going to get around it. Mug, so. bro. 
<laughs> this kid swag show people his, his mug. <laughs> I'm not screen sharing, bro. <laughs> yeah. Um, there are high end vape form t shirts available if you guys are interested. Uh, the link is down in the description. Um, I will put also swags swags link down in the description if you want me to so that that way you guys can see the awesome invisible logos that he creates um what's up mike vapes here's a whistle there's a whistle on um, what swags has a very abstract um eye for on art it? so he does a lot of white on white like yeah. white backgrounds with white labels kind of a whistle. Mm -hmm. so technically the, the logo is there but it's really not but in your heart it's there so mm -hmm. it's very abstract that's what it is I don't it's know what's meta. Mike, what's whistling? Am I whistling? I think he's talking about my tank. Yeah, my tank actually started whistling. I don't know. That why. might be my laugh. I whistle when I laugh. Shout out to Mr. Razhole. What's up, brother? I like that name. Mr. I Razzle. don't have man sizes. I have um This is man size. Eight thousand ma right there. Eight thousand ma, two forty T's. That's a lot of ma. How much mod do you have? Good night, Adrian. Thanks for joining us. Um, guys, hey, comments? we are coming to the end of the show. We greatly appreciate all of you guys being here. Um, please, you know what? Let's take just a couple seconds. Let's do our pal vapes uh question and answer lightning round if you've got questions for pal tag him in the chat and uh throw them up real quick we'll do seven or eight different questions and uh pal is going to get the floor and answer all of them to the best of his ability ask him anything you want anything um, it's, and nothing is off limits around here <laughs> unless unless stan says so pal what's know. uh what's while we're waiting on those to come through is there anything that uh you know what I remember the Gaia RDTA being squonkable. I forgot about that. Um, pal, is there anything that is coming out of Pinoy land that has been, uh, that has been interesting to you like lately, like uh, high end, like RDAs or anything like that, that you've been like super excited about that you've got already or that's coming. I know we already um, talked about what you're looking forward to, but just Pinoy and in, in, in Pinoy, especially. So, like, in the Pinoy lands, um, I really – I don't want to ruin my review, but um, – You don't have to give us a review. Just tell us if there's anything you're excited about or that you're, like, really interested or having a good time with. The Apex. <laughs> the Apex, to me, is the first single coil to come out of uh, the Philippines that can be ranked in the top tier. Uh, it's just, it's got a massive juice well, the way that the bottom airflow is designed. Yeah. Uh, a lot of former uh, Pinoy single coils, they've been designing um, bottom airflow like you would do on a dual coil, which doesn't work on something you squonk. Yeah. And the way that they were able to make like a five or six millimeter juice well, and then actually uh, engrave the actual top cap so it sits down low, because had they not done it, it would have been a really tall dripper yeah. for the bottom That was my, my, my original reservation with it, because I saw it, we were looking at it and I didn't see approves. Look at you that. Could, you Apex, couldn't see. Play. Yeah. They've been like, they've been gushing over it. Um, I have one on the way, but the way that we looked at it, it you couldn't see that there was a deep <clears> well there. And we were like, this shit's going to leak. Like, how is it not going to leak? But after pal got his in and you saw the way that they did it, it makes sense. It just makes sense. I have mine right here. I haven't built it yet. Um, maybe I'll do like a first impressions okay. build on you video. Can this, you can see this, the juice pooling up in here and it's not leaking out of this bottom because the airflow travels up so high and then it angles at like a 45 you just degree. To me, Stan? I'm on one knee swagons. I, I do. <laughs> no, I, oh, yeah, maybe the, I'll the NVIDIA grumpy old vapor said the NVIDIA and um, actually me and Stan have a deal with the nvidia like in the, is it the nvidia and the apex like i'm buying one. oh yeah the nvidia are uh, yeah drop did. you sent me the apex out. we we did the group buy for oh yeah NVIDIA. i'm supposed to get nvidia shoot mm -hmm. we did the group buy for the nvidia and they uh their the shipping is in progress it's already happened so they're on their way to me for the u.s guys that bought them and then the people that are out of u.s and canada and the people that are out of the country are getting them directly from the manufacturer so that's all on its way um 
And nice. yes, P I, Pal sent me this Apex. I'm sending him an NVIDIA. And Swaggins is also getting an NVIDIA out of that too. So we should be able to speak on that as well, which is pretty cool. Because the modder, um, I can't speak on the RDA yet. But in my dealings with the modder, super, super cool down-to-earth guy. Um, speaks really good English. And he he just... He, Black Ultim, Sasha. <clears throat> he just... Uh, he was really cool through the whole process of... of helping us get this done so very cool uh, the airflow on the apex uh, robert riggin the apex seems like it would give a similar vape experience to the gr1 your thoughts pal but that's the first been, thing i thought of when i saw it sorry it's go ahead. been so long since i had the gr1 like i vaped it and uh the gr1 leaked much easier than this. this it's is, small, man. This thing is a shorty by by all. The GR1 was a for a small, cheap single coil. It gave good flavor if you didn't mind spit back. Um, it's a small no, little guy. Yeah. For but, a specific build with changeable inserts. But as far as like the way that it performs, uh, the Apex murders the GR1. Yeah. There's a huge disparagement between you know the pricing and the manufacturing of the two as well. I mean, at some point. You are you are you are getting quality for a price. I mean, d depending on what the there there's this very small uh, margin for like look at the wicked, you know, um, uh, or the wicked uh, RDA. This guy right here, it's like ninety six bucks RRP USD, and you get a couple caps, the insert, all the inserts, whatever, whatever allows the modder to be able to do that. You know, if they're not making any money or whatever, they are doing this. And then, all right, well, if you have this a similar RDA that's like 120 bucks, that's really where you know you can't. You're not arguing about quality, um, but the GR1 where you can get it, like I think I got mine for 15 dollars. Um, there's a huge difference between something that you can get for 15 dollars and something that like all right, maybe 96 bucks. My high end standards for something new for what you get is a really good price. Um, it is what it is, but it's, it's one of those things like, look at the wasp, right? Everybody was like, this thing's 20 bucks. Just buy one, buy one to try one. That's, that's basically what the GR one is buy it to try it because it's good. Or if you don't like it, you didn't spend a ton of money on it. You know, it, it, there's a huge disparagement there between Philly vapes. I, I don't know if I can help you on that. When he said, I need an apex and a Vena. I don't know which one I should get first. That is a very good close call right there we said um we call. actually said he said apex similar to vena af airflow uh <clears throat> let's see i'm not sure if i'm using the vena right here like i got the i think the vena the... might be a little bit tighter dude i got the furnace right here man it's very close yeah that's it's that's close. an inexpensive addy too and i mean some people love it i don't um, what's that interesting the furnace with the uh the that's not an expensive rate. Addy. That's what, that's what I just said. Oh. And you unscrew this top ring to open or close the airflow down. It's a it's a really cool idea. Uh, I'm sure that if you saw this and they put a little bit more money into it, um, you know, yeah. you might, it might be better or it might be the same. Who knows? I mean, that's the thing. It's like quality materials or whatever the idea, the design. I mean, it's, it's inexpensive. So you like it, you like but it. But it feels, it feels cheap and it's, like I feel like the name the furnace was uh, aptly named. The furnace was aptly named because Dude, everything serial you number nine hundred and twelve. I mean, and I got it. We got it like right when they released. So it's yeah. like that's where you. That's that's a clear indicator of not high end. Every build in that thing um, is just hot, hot, hot. There's just not enough airflow in that. Yeah. Thing, so they opinion. named it correctly. Yeah. The furnace. Just like, um, what was that one Pinoy dripper that I hated? The Cursed? The Vertex, I think, Cursed? They named that right, too. It was like the worst. Uh, I'll tell you what. Ever. I got, I got <laughs> maybe one more RDTA coming, and I think I'm done after that. Like, I don't need to have a shit ton of RDTAs. I got a couple that, one that I really enjoy right now. I'm looking forward to trying this next one. But then, you know, I, I know that I'm just, I love little single coil RDAs, Swankers, RSAs. Um, get us one more. Do you have one more question, pal? I, I'm, I was supposed to just answer questions. That's yeah. what I've been doing. That's my, yeah, that's my no, thing. You, and we've kind of been talking off of it, but sorry, go ahead. No, it's, that's the, we're just cruising right along. There's no, there's no more questions. I don't think. Okay. So 
let's go ahead and close up shop then. Thank you very much, everybody, for being here. Um, it looks better than the monarch. What? <laughs> the wicked is better than both monarchs. No, I disagree. Absolutely. I really, I really enjoy. I don't even. I look. I like the wicked, but and I, I was impressed with the wicked single sided airflow. Oh. Shane, uh, I when agree. I first got it, OG I still am impressed with it because it's a good RDA for what it is. Um, I'm not a single sided airflow kind of guy, but the wicked did it really good. Uh, I think the monarch does it better. The monarchy. This is great. No, I like it better. See, and that's the beautiful thing about this. Swags, take us out, bro. Where are we going? We're leaving Mars. Thanks for coming, everybody. <laughs> Hopefully, it was a good show. Um, we're trying to work out the wonkiness of everything, but. Um, if you're in the group, just know that Pal is going to be posting a link about an hour or two before every show on the Sundays that we're doing it. So you can just keep your eyes out there. Just keep have, the don't worry. Everything, the fade of the show is in my hands, guys. Don't worry about a thing. I got I got this. Another side note is uh, there could possibly be another show next week back to back. Oh, yeah. Oh. We're going to be doing, we are, we're going to be doing hey, uh, that. I was really trying to work Stan into this segment, uh, Swag. So, uh, what segment? Yeah, can you, this segment right here about uh, next week. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Where might we be uh, streaming the show from? I will be in the UK at UK I love Expo. You, Swags. <laughs> I love you. I'll be in the UK at UK Expo, and we will try to stream from the UK Expo next week. It depends on internet connection. Um, but hey, man, you know we'll, we'll do something. If maybe maybe you guys can run a uh, a video on Pal's channel if uh, if I can't get in. So it's cool. Yeah, I got this. Okay, Swaggins has a yeah, channel too. Swags has. No, a, I, I can run it on your channel or whatever. I'll run it. I'll I can run the stream. Yeah, he has a he has one gig, so he can port it right through my channel. Okay, even though we, I never we will work something out. Before. But we're going to double it up to make up for all the lost time with the holidays we and would, everything. We would like to do it from the UK. We'll give you guys a little, uh, a little sneak preview. That we want to talk about high-end modders galleries and basically if they uh, have shows. One. What what are the shows that are the typical ones for, for to see high-end, to be able to get your hands on the stuff that like normally you need a randomizer for? And not just like going to straight in, the Stratum booth and being able to get stuff from like um, ESG or whatever where there's a very limited run, like actually having ESG there with product. Like which are the ones where those guys go to? Usually it's in Europe. Um, so that it would be a really good uh, uh, relevant topic. But I don't want to hold my happens. breath though because I don't know if there's going to be a modders gallery considering Stuttgart. It's not too long after that. And that's the well, that's, but I'm Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what we'll talk about. Mike Vapes, Louis is at a sweater convention just to confirm that. That's why Louis. I'm, that's, that's why, why I'm Powell's rocking what he's got on. He's doing his best Louis right now. I, I look more like Jon Snow, but uh, it's not <laughs> a rocking in. <laughs> the swag and signature line now available. Mug. Hashtag All right, pal, take us mug. out, bro. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you guys all so much for tuning in. Uh, I know the, the high-end bait form schedule has been a little bit off, but I would just like to say that it's totally those guys' fault, not none of my fault. And um, I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. And next week, uh, either way, we'll make it work from the UK. Like, it doesn't have to stream from the UK. I mean, we can bring Stan in via mm -hmm. Swags. But it's going to be awesome. And, um, yeah, thank you again, Wendy Blank, for this beautiful, comfortable, lovely is it a shawl? Is that what we're going with? It's mm -hmm. a shawl. I want to say yeah. blanket, but it's a shawl. It's I like smock. Right. It's a smock. smock. Yeah, that's like a smock too. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so smock. shout out to Louis. We miss you. It's only it's only half as high end without that hair. And um, take it away, Mr. Vapor Swaggins. I thought I started. He already this did. Whole thing. He already did his thing. So you got to pass it to Stan. Pass it. I'm <laughs> lateral. All right. All right. All right. Your, your, your background is scaring me. I'm fucking scared of sharks. That's sharks. Frederick. Guys, hey, thank you for being here. Don't forget to check out the High Invade Forum on Facebook. We appreciate you guys. This is a lot of fun for us to do to get to talk about a lot of stuff that, you know, we don't get to talk about a whole lot in the normal community that we're, uh, we're associated with. And that's really, really cool. Because you know what's really cool about it is the fact that a lot more people are that are into a lot of mainstream stuff that we hang out with are actually getting around to some of this high end gear and they're enjoying themselves looking at it at least and talking about it with us. And that's fun. So it's all part of the hobbyist side and we really enjoy it. So thank you very much for 
enjoying it with us. And uh, you guys stay safe. You guys have a fantastic rest of your week. We will see you next week on the high-end vape forum. Accept no imitations. And uh, vape on, friends. And you guys are total badasses. Total badasses. I love you all. 2,000 member giveaway. Very close. Yeah.